Mac Engel, Engel Angle Podcast. Let's see, hopefully I can get this done with Mac Engel, Engel Angle Podcast, here to talk not about the NHL Stanley Cup Finals, not about the NBA Finals between the Boston Celtics and the Dallas Mavericks, but rather, rather, rather the hottest thing going on, that is the WNBA. Right now, the WNBA is hot because of pettiness, because of jealousy, because of superstars, because of trash talking, because of physical play, bordering on dirty play. And I say, if I'm the WNBA, fantastic. This is the best news this league has had since it was created in 1997. I would be willing to bet most people who are sitting there talking about and consuming the WNBA now really don't know that much about it, including that this league was created in 1997 by then commissioner, NBA commissioner David Stern, because he thought there would be eventual growth and profit in women's professional basketball. He's right, but it's going to take a long time, a long time. We know that because all we have to do is look at the creation of the NBA. Creation of the NBA was not in 1980 when Magic Johnson and Larry Bird arrived. The league started in 1946, and between 46 and 80, it was kind of a mess. It wasn't on television, leagues folded, it wasn't that big, it wasn't that popular. It was a small sport, it was a small league, and it struggled. Magic and Bird came along, and it was perfect. You had racial discussions, you had talent debates, and you had great teams, and the Lakers and Boston going at each other, and really, that is when the league took off. The arrival of Iowa star Caitlin Clark and LSU star Angel Reese is not necessarily guarantee that the WNBA is going to enjoy a similar growth spurt the way the NBA did back in 1980 for a variety of reasons. What really this is, is the first time that people are going to be exposed to women's pro basketball, women's basketball, and that's great. And that's why if you're the WNBA, you take it. And if you don't need ever anybody playing gatekeeper to your league, because the people who are talking about it now don't know what they're talking about. I'd be willing to bet most people don't know the WNBA has 12 teams. I'd be willing to bet most people who are talking about the WNBA probably can't name more than five players. If Caitlin Clark is your point of entry into the world of the WNBA and women's basketball, take it. You take all of this discussion. You take all of this debate. You take all of the pettiness all of the jealousy, because that is going to drive interest in your game. It's what drove interest in the NBA. People are jealous of Caitlin Clark? Yeah, they probably are. Were people jealous of Magic Johnson and Larry Bird? Yeah, they probably were. And guess what? They all, all benefited from it in some way. So if Angel Reese, the star player, star rookie of the Chicago Sky, wants to say, look, People are coming to watch us not just because of one player. Let her say it. If a Chicago Sky player wants to hip check Caitlin Clark to the floor, all right, well, that's going to happen. Don't run from it. Don't ban her from the league. Just say that's part of it. All of it's part of it. And everybody will grow accordingly. What you don't want to do is sit there and make exceptions and tell anybody, anybody, well, don't watch us. You need eyeballs. You need conversation, you need headlines, and this is what's going to sell your sport. Conflict. That's what's going to drive it. That's what drove the NBA. Any of this idea that any of these things that we hear now uh, attached to the WNBA is somehow gender specific is specifically stupid because all these little things going on being talked about with Caitlin Clark and the WNBA, yeah, let's talk about in the men's side of the NBA back in the 80s. Just open up a, a book or Google search it. You'll find it. 
racial point, racial points of discussion were huge when Larry Bird and Magic Johnson were going against each other. They were enormous when the predominantly white Boston Celtics were playing the predominantly black LA Lakers. You can't do anything about it. Try to educate some people on it and just go along for the ride. Make people available, make it interesting, make it a good product, and people will watch it. For the first time now, ever since it was created, people are watching the WNBA. Why they're watching it, who cares? You need eyeballs. WNBA, keep doing what you're doing and just embrace the debate.